Um, so to start with, I, I looked at the publications on Maasai readers. I found uh, three of them. I, I was able to access two, that is Holy uh, 2003 and Kipuri uh, 1983. And here is where I collected readers that I included in the database. But I also searched and found that Sankan wrote something um, with readers in it in 1982. But I, I couldn't access this one. But it's, so it's, it's available um, online on Amazon, I think, or WorldCut. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my next slide is about uh, documentation. I tried to uh, do a phone interview um, at some of the Maasai speakers. I also. Um, talk to some who are in Dar es Salaam, but they don't really remember many readers, though they know that they are readers and they know the importance of readers and how that worked in the past, but they don't uh, have memory of a number of readers um, you know, on top of their heads. So this uh, suggests that we may need some field work in the future. Uh, to start with how the reader uh, goes in Maasai, First, we have two types. We have simple readers. They are called oloyote. And they're introduced by saying oyote. And then uh, this means, are you ready? And then the answer is ew. Uh, it literally means it has come. So any, any, any person who wants to respond uh, or who is in the audience and would want to encourage the, the riddler to keep asking readers, they would say, and sorry, um, the second type is, is called complex readers. In Maasai, this is called ilangeni. Uh, it literally means those for the clever. Um, it's, 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 it's complex because it's sort of descriptive, a uh, long explanation of, of, of the riddle. So it is opened by saying, irangen, are you clever? Right, and the respondents, if if they they respond positively, they say a, and then the reader is is asked or is posed. Uh, the word reader by itself doesn't include any other genres, though we will see in a moment that you know after a riddling session uh, follows uh, folklore, for example, uh, legend or some some other stories or and some other games, as we'll see in, in a moment. Who can answer the riddle? Anybody in the audience can answer the riddle. And the responses, as I said, are ewo, if you know the answer, or simply silent, if you do not know the answer. And then, then follows a uh, um, kind of uh, conversation about would you award the riddler or somebody asking the riddle. We'll see in a moment how it goes. So the context. Um, uh, in the community, uh, as 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 we all we may all um, predict, not much is being practiced. I, I could I couldn't actually get somebody who says riddling is still practiced in 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 our culture. Though you know they understand, they know they can recall. For those who can recall, that riddling was really uh, an important event or something to do in the evenings. So through that, you can see that the, the attitude is positive uh, for Maasai speakers. They, they would really like to see that continuing, but it's not practiced. And it is not only considered to be something for children. It's actually a, a means to transfer um, knowledge uh, to the young ones. Um, so um, it, it involves uh, adults and, 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 and children. But rarely it does this involve adults themselves. Um, who participate? Then I've, I've uh, categorized three uh, types of participants. It can be a mother and children in the evenings as they uh, they wait for you know for 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 dinner. It could be warriors uh, with girls. You know they. Um, uh, in Maasai, the, the, the Boma, the, the, the homestead with a lot of girls, uh, young girls, um, warriors uh, keep to visit uh, those homes 
to to riddle with girls uh, to and, and among other games they riddle and 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 um, you know tell stories as as a, as a way of getting together uh, in the evenings but also you'll find those children who are who, are, who already know um, or can ask readers uh, you know sitting together and ask readers and can be female or female i mean or male um, so the setting can be uh, outside, open space outside, or in the kitchen, or outside around the fire, uh, and, and in most cases in the evenings. So the role of readers in Maasai, as I hinted earlier, is to transfer skills, skills like what the Maasai people do, uh, what they prefer their children to learn, and indigenous knowledge. It's also used as entertainment. Um, and sharing cultural and traditional values. Um, as I said, it, it's no longer practiced. Uh, why? Because we have formal education, um, you know, uh, children are occupied by formal education, uh, but also you find some homes, they have TVs. Um, parents also, not, I mean, do not uh, make time to, you know, sit together with their children because of social economic activities actually life has changed now they are practicing farming a business uh, you know as well as um, cattle um, rearing um, so after readers in most cases you'll find that people continue as they as so long as they have time to spend together they continue with legend folklore we have another game called Engukoi, um, just playing with something. You have something, and then you, you, you know, you, you, I don't know how to put it, but it's, it's a kind of game that they they, they play, as well as Isudori, a game of hiding, you know, running in, in corners of houses and hiding and then looking for somebody, and such kind of games. Uh, uh, the sequence, if, if, yeah, as I said, if, if you know the answer, you say a uh, and then um, you, you say the answer. And then if you do not know the answer or no member of the audience uh, knows the answer, then you can give the, 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 ask, the, the person asking readers, you can give a cow, but it must be a good cow, a healthy cow. If you give them a, a skinny or a, a sick cow, they will actually reject and ask you to give a good bull, a healthy bull, a big one. Uh, family members sometimes, if they want to joke among each other, so uh, uh, you know, a boy can tell uh, another boy to, to, you know, take my sister or yeah, take my brother. Yeah, just a kind of you know game. Um, a village or a place, a good place. So you can tell them if they have never been to Dar es Salaam, you tell them, okay, go to Dar es Salaam. Uh, if you tell them to go to Singida, they say, ah, Singida is not a good place. I don't like it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, turn taking, anyone can start a reading session and anyone in the audience can respond to, uh, to the reader. And this means it involves um, two people, two or more people, a group of people. Yeah, but they respect time taking. That if, but is, if somebody is asking a riddle, then they should wait until the you know that person says I have no more riddles, and then another one can pick and continue the riddles. So they, um, there's no fixed number of riddles in a, in one session or for a session uh, until you 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 know you say all you have in your memory, and it's one it's when one can pick uh, from there, or you can end the session and do something else. Okay, uh, a sequence, um, yeah, as I said, uh, memory guides the sequence and also the, the amount of riddles. You can't, you, there is no chance to guess the answer. You can't guess the answer um, or you can't ask for clarification. Uh, so long as we say, this is something that test, um, you know, your, it's, it's done to test with, uh, how much you're clever. So it's something simply to respond quickly and you do not have much time to think or guess or ask for clarification or things like that. Um, so, um, if, so if you don't know the answer, as I said, you give something uh, nice to the, yeah, as I said, you can give a cow or something. 
Um, the language of readers, uh, as you can see in the database, there are some that are descriptive, declarative, uh, interrogative. It's actually a mix. So you'd have uh, different structures uh, of, 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 of readers. Uh, anything special, unusual? Um, I think we need more readers to analyze this or conclude or say something about this. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure whether I can conclude or say anything at the moment um, because yeah, we need actually to add some more readers uh, to have a good analysis. Um, I haven't, uh, I do not have readers that involve video phones in the database. Maybe there, there, there could be some, but not yet. Um, yeah, they can use proper names, personal names, like um, a warrior, uh, somebody popular, uh, but also, uh, you know, a, a lazy guy, somebody with a unique character. Um, so they can make some kind of, uh, you know, figurative uh, or imaginary uh, kind of description, um, can be a metaphor, a simile, or even attributing some personal attributes to things and 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 and, and uh, you know giving the attributes of 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 the person you would want to describe or, or to something that you would want to describe um yeah and that way so um as we classify or we analyze uh, the structure you can have a descriptive uh, question with a short answer a question with a short answer a descriptive um, riddle, the descriptive kind of phrase um, as the answer. So that's a quick uh, observation of how riddles are structured. Uh, figurative or you know, logic or imagery. I found some riddles use metaphor or some kind of analogy. They also use uh, simile or comparison. Uh, some things, common things are personified. They are given human attributes you know, like cows or, you know, uh, yeah, animals in general, they are given personal attributes, but also things can be given animacy properties or features um, as they make their readers. The semantic domains, they actually have, you know, random classes of things um, that they talk about, body parts, kettle or products from kettle. Uh, people, uh, land, so you can't actually group uh, in, a, in a refined classes of uh, semantic. So this is just an example of a riddle where you, um, it says, uh, just uh, for English translation, a place where no one ever settles, and if one did so, there would be a uh, crying. Um, and this is an eye that, you know, an eye is, nothing settles there. And if you get anything in, into your eye, you find tears uh, falling down. Yeah, warriors and, and girls used to ask uh, sexual readers um, as a way to um, develop or create environment for uh, intimate relationship. Um, as we know, you know, girls and warriors get together and, and, and uh, make friends. But that's the end. That's all I have as, yeah, as a presentation.